So um, let me actually open this up just to tenths. So things that we do have going for this trade are a minor double bottom with some downside divergence rolling off of the DPTL zone. You know, so that's enough. The action line is yellow. That is enough to take that trade short. So I didn't want to, you know, I don't think I did, imply that, you know, nobody in the right mind should execute that trade. No, not at all. That's not true. However, there are two things that I do want to point, or there are a couple of things that are pretty significant and would have, if I were trading, I would not have executed this trade here. I might still have executed this trade the bar after that if the right things happened, but they didn't. So there would have been no trade. Okay, so a couple of things to notice. First, up close price bar. Down close OS. So the OS is moving lower, price bar is moving up. Flat um, in the OS. Okay, so it's not as bad as down sloping. It's flat, but it's certainly not up. So that's a negative, okay, to being to wanting to go short. That's an indication what we're seeing right here on these two lines that this area might want to hold. So that's not a good thing for the sell. And then a sell signal fires and the OS line still doesn't move down. That is not an environment where I want to be shorting on that bar. When you combine that with the fact that the short is right on top of the 50 XMA, no way do I want to go short there. Okay, guys? The, if this bar closed down, if the next bar closed down and the down close was below the 50 XMA, the, the OS line started to slope down. Okay, that would be an okay place to get into that short, but not right here for me. Okay, does what I'm saying make sense to you guys? These are the little nuggets. These are the little nuances. Okay. And then what makes this so nice? Okay, it's a pretty good pivot formation. We got a pivot to form. Market has moved up. Now, it could be a little better. This pivot formation up here is a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. But this is an okay pivot formation. Guys, what, what's unique, a little bit unique about this buy trade here? It's in the direction of the short-term trend. Most sniper trades are counter trend. 50 XMA is moving up. And we're uh, a, a standard sniper sell occurs. Getting standard sniper signals in the direction of the 50 XMA, the short-term trend, is not the norm. I'm not saying it never happens, but it doesn't happen as much. And so that intrinsically is a better trade. Uh, it's occurring right on top of the 50 XMA support, right? That's a big deal. That's a positive thing. We have upside divergence in both the OS and the Pulse Extreme line. Can everybody see that? Let me know if you want me to mark that. If you, if you wanted to be a little bit more conservative, you might want to wait for action line support. So maybe you don't get long right at the signal, just like I was encouraging you to maybe not get long right at this signal. Wait for a little bit more confirmation that never came so we don't get short. Maybe you wait for a little bit more confirmation, a little bit of a slope up in the action line, so maybe you're getting long on this bar instead, okay? But aggressive traders might take it right here um, because it's got the 50 XMA, it's got upside divergence, um, it's in the direction of the short-term trend, all those different things, okay? Does that help, guys? I hope it does. Um, just a little bit of nuance action. We're going to try to do a little bit of that more in-depth nuance uh, training every single day in August and make it a habit, you know, of what we're doing to uh, pick a trade or two or a group of trades. And if we don't do full-fledged recaps, we want to go in and do these mini, mini caps. We'll have to think of a good name for them. But, um, you know, it's these little extra nuances that take you from being that more robotic trader to um, 
more robotic executor to graduating to becoming that full-fledged trader. All right, guys, have a great rest of your trading day, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Thanks, everyone.